What is up guys, it's Nick here from Technothought and in this video we're gonna go over creating CSS gradients everything you need to know about CSS gradients and how you can create your own CSS gradients without using those online shitty generators for CSS gradients a lot of gradients, right? So without wasting your time, let's get into the tutorial and before I go into the tutorial, you might get animate our CSS gradient that's the complimentary part I'll give you guys in the end yeah, that's a dessert for you guys uh, but before I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about CSS gradients, so let's get right into it. So what I have here is I have a basic diff and some basic styles applied to it. Nothing much going on, complicated. I have a position relative, height find by width find, it march in 100 pixels auto, background white. That's all, nothing going on, complicated. Now what I want here is I want to add a gradient to this diff. Now to do that, I'll use linear gradient now this is how we apply gradient just follow me up here uh, I'll explain in a uh, few few seconds I'll explain what is happening so now what linear gradient takes is colors so I can throw in some colors like red and yellow I can, as you can see uh, it is creating a gradient now I, what I can do I can apply uh, I can give your hex code as well, not only the names, I can use a red, so FF and uh, to create a yellow, uh, I really forgot how to create yellow, so it's RGBFF 00FF red and blue, oh it's kind of like purple, but it's, it's fine, I forgot how to create mix, what to mix for a blue, a yellow uh, so you can see I have, I can apply hex code, I can give it an RGBA, I can give it any color code and it will work just fine with this so for uh, the basic I'll just go with stick with red and yellow here now what if I want to apply a distance or I want to specify steps and how much uh, space should a color take in a div now to do that, I just simply give some space after the color and specify uh, how much pixels or how much, uh, I'll work with the percentage here. So what is happening here is uh, before fading, red will take 50% of the div and then it will start fading from red to yellow. Now, uh, this is simple basic. So what I can do, I can give it a direction as well. So I can specify in a degree. So if I want to specify 45 degrees tilted, the gradient, as you can see, it's tilted. Uh, I can remove this for right now for just, uh, you can see it works fine. Uh, even, even this takes negative value as well. So I can put minus 45 degrees and just exact opposite of what it was. Um, why I'm telling you this is bef uh, if I directly dive into this example and uh, I start writing the gradient code, you might not understand what I'm doing there. So uh, I'll just let you know the basic of what, uh, how you play with linear gradient. And uh, let's, um, that's all uh, you need to know the basics on uh, creating gradients. Now to do complex gradients uh, like this, uh, I will simply dive into Photoshop and let you know how gradient works actually. And that's what we're gonna do in the code. We're in the Photoshop and uh, what we're doing here is we have what we call the here the basic part is this gradient generator. Now on this strip, if I click anywhere, I add a color stop, and that's what we're doing. We're gonna give a color there and some location. Uh, if I, as you can see, saw I specified a location in as a 50 percent. So if I specify location 50 percent, you can see it's in the middle, and before fading, it's gonna take 50 percent of the strip, and then it's gonna start fading from one color to another. Now, how we create this strip uh, in a gradient? So to do that, we put two color stop at the same location of different colors. Now, if I say color stop, guys, I'm simply basically adding a point where I can change the color or whatever you can, can understand that right now. So I can I simply basically doing is if I want to create a shop uh, a strip uh, in a gradient, I'll simply add. Uh, a color point at the same location so if it's 10 I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna add this white at 10 and you can see oh it's not 10 I forgot what it is okay it's 20 sorry so I, as you can see these both are at 20 and it is giving me a sharp strip look uh, same I can apply one right here I can I can take a black there and you can see basically what I'm gonna do here is to do a sharp strip in general you add two color stops at the same location of different colors. That's all. So to do that, I can simply hit cancel and 
I'm gonna come to code. So in the code, what I'm gonna do here, I have some color picked already. So I, as you can see, I'm using SAS variables. Uh, so those who are not familiar with the SAS guys, is if you basically write color one, just replace it with this value or whatever color you guys got from a different palette. I have already created a palette. Now, what I do here, I'm gonna add my color one, add zero. Color one, and I'm gonna throw my second color. So I see I have a gradient right now. Now how to create a strip as you can see in this example. Now to do that, it's very simple. Uh, what I do is I added my color one at 0%. So I added one color stop at 0% and I'm adding the same colors, same color color stop at 25%. So you guys can see now what I'm do is I'm gonna uh, add color to color stop at 25% too. So uh, as I said earlier, if you wanna create a shop strip, you add two color stops at same location. So that's what I did here. I added color one and color two color stops at same location, 25%, and I got a shop strip. Now what I do here is if I'm gonna create a third strip. So what I do is I'm gonna make sure I have a color stop of color two at 50%. And just what I'm doing, I was incrementing at 25%, that's it. And I'm gonna go with color three at 50% as well. So if I if I say that, okay, and there's, there's some issue with here, I've added the, there is color two, okay, there's a space there. Color, C-O-L-O-R, okay, I forgot the dollar sign, guys, I'm really, uh, extremely sorry. See color two, and here as color three. So, uh, let's see, I have a third strip. The same thing applies, uh, so, so on. If you understood the logic, I'm gonna do it quite a faster one. I did with two colors, I'm gonna go with color three. So, I have all the strips prepared and I think we basically have the gradient here. Uh, now, uh, I'm not going to go over to the 100% because whatever the remaining part is going to get covered by the color 4 itself. But if you still want to add, it's fine. You guys can add on. I'm not going to add here. And for all those who are not uh, following with SAS, just simply replace the color 1 with the actual hash color codes. Uh, you're going to get this gradient. Now comes the sweet part. Animating it. Now to animate it, it's very easy. Uh, what I'm going to animate is animate its background position property. Now to do that, I'm going to animate it in Y. So to make sure it animated in Y, I make sure it's in background repeat is on. Repeat Y. Uh, I want to make sure it repeat in Y axis. Okay. And I'm going to make sure my, uh, nothing else, that's fine. Now what I'll do is I'm going to make an animation here. So to do that, I'll just hit animation, animation, and I'm gonna name it as a gradient here. And I'll just hit two seconds, that's it. Now we didn't specify our animation here, so to specify that, we're gonna use keyframes. And, uh, that's how we specify animation in CSS. Keyframes gradient, uh, I'll just make sure the spelling's correct, uh, that's why it won't work. See, G-R-A-D-I-E-N-T. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to two from animation. And if you don't know CSS animation, you guys can search it on. It's very easy. Uh, so two is uh, my uh, where from from one state to another state. So I'm going to hit from. And I'm not going to cover animation in this part. I might create some another tutorial for this. So to and from the from. Uh, I'm sorry, it's two. And I want to animate my background. Position, position from uh, I'll just like zero pixels to one thousand five hundred pixels. So initially it's zero, and what it's going is it's uh, okay. It stopped. Uh, let me add infinite here. So it's gonna loop. So what is happening here is going to animating my background position from 0, 0 to 0 to 1,500 pixels. Basically moving my 
background in my axis that's all now what we can do here is we can uh, as you can see in here the animation is linear and it's not starting or stopping it's kind of like smooth uh, smooth transition uh, seamless transition as you guys can say and how you can do that so simply I already told you guys the term you can just gonna add linear so what it's gonna do is gonna make a time graph animation a straight line that's all as you can see it's working fine and entrance or kind of like a funky whatever background you want to create with this so I hope you guys like this tutorial that's all in the CSS gradient what sort of animation you can create with this hope you guys enjoyed it uh, I know I haven't created much tutorial in past around six months but oh, I'm back guys so hope you guys like this tutorial let me know uh, what you think of this effect uh, the switch back uh, you guys can create uh, a lot of loading animation a lot of landing page animation a lot of background animation even uh, I didn't show you guys uh, uh, even your uh, link grade gradients can be uh, transparent as well so if you guys want to create this thing go on thumbs up i know you guys can create a lot of funky stuff a lot of creative stuff rather than what i'm doing here right now and let me know in the comment what you guys have created so uh this give this video a thumbs up if you like this video if this video is very useful to you guys share it up with your friends uh, those who are beginners to the css and all so if, uh, thanks for watching guys peace